The Battle of Britain by Sophia Maladineo and Michaela Polito. The Battle of Britain was the conflict between Luftwaffe of Germany and the Royal Air Force of Britain. Ultimately, Britain was fighting alone because they had their own tactics and France was invaded and couldn't be there to support them as allies. Both sides fought in the skies over the United Kingdom. The end of the Battle of Britain was an extremely big turning point in the war. The battle lasted from about July of 1940 to May of 1941, but the most intense time of the fighting was between July and October of 1940. Germany was in desperate need of the air control in order to send its invasion force to Hermann Göring, one of the most senior politicians in Nazi Germany and close confidant of Hitler had to involve his air force to rule over Britain, Britain's Royal Air Force. To rule over Britain, Luftwaffe bombed their airfields. After doing this, Germany thought no harm would come to them, but Britain's power was distorted and they quickly regrouped to defeat the Germans. Britain immediately started to spitball at Germany and beat them. Germany wouldn't invade anymore and began to lose all hope of winning, and Britain's Royal Air Force gained all air superiority. The Battle of Britain was essentially the air battle against Germany's Air Force, Luftwaffe, and the Britain Royal Air Force in the summer and autumn of 1940. This was the first battle to be fought by the Air Force alone. The Germans planned to invade Britain with the objective of landing 160,000 soldiers along the 40-mile coast stretch of southeast England. Yet one thing that Germany lacked was intelligence and the idea of British vulnerabilities. This battle was a battle for national survival and was waged in the skies over Britain. Not only would this struggle, the first to be fought primarily in the air, decide the fate of the United Kingdom, but, it, but on it also rested the freedom of Europe and the outcome of the Second World War. France was invaded by Germany, and Britain's only thought was that Germany would attack the United Kingdom next. In July, German leader Adolf Hitler turned his plan. He decided that July 10th, the first German bombers attacked the English Channel from up above and the battle began. Britain relied on mainly their air force and naval officers to get through the battle. Britain knew that if Germany attacked ground by foot, they wouldn't win this hardship. During the time span of July 10th and the end of October in 1940, 1,733 German aircraft had been destroyed compared with 1,915 British fighters. The Royal Air Force's main fighter planes were the Spitfire and the Hurricane, while the Germans relied primarily on the Messerschmitt fighters and Junkers dive bombers. Royal Air Force Fighter Command defeated the Luftwaffe attempt to gain air super supremacy over southern England and saved Britain from German invasion and conquest. Britain left a free country. The battle received its name from the speech Winston Churchill delivered to the British House of Commons on June 18, 1940, in which he stated, The Battle of France is over. I expect the Battle of Britain is about to begin.